Welcome to the live stream. If you're uh, watching on a, for your first time checking me out, thank you for checking me out. Uh, I have a solo lawn service. I'm looking to learn you guys how to start your own business or help you get to the next level. If you're thinking about it, go for it. Whether it be a weekend warrior or jumping full time, there's plenty of work for everybody out there. So don't be scared. I answer all questions. There's no secrets in the game. Also, uh, you can either ask me questions in the live chat, I'm in and out of the chat, or you can just hit me up in the comment section. I check my comments daily. So I'm out here plugging away. It's a nice day. Make it some time a little bit and everything's starting to dry up now. So, I'm on to the next house. I'm almost there. Got some construction going on in front of me. Gotta wait for these guys to move. So just having fun as usual. Just another day at the office. Making money, or at least I think I'm making money. Backing up, he's giving a go sign to the guy talking on him. It don't matter. If you guys are lucky, you'll get to meet one of my uh, customers. This is a bi weekly, they get it done every two weeks because it's an apartment house. And uh, the lady that owns the house, uh, she thinks that uh, she's in charge, she's the boss of everything. So, but that's cool if it makes her happy, that's good. Uh, she's a worry ward. I'm sure you'll see her when she comes out because she'll be out for sure. I can tell you, guarantee it. Like I said, this is a bi weekly every two weeks. I usually don't do every two weeks, but uh, this person really doesn't complain too much. It's always worried about stuff. So, uh, so I'm having a good day. Hope all you guys watching are having a good day. Get to trim the people's bushes. Don't don't let this get away. It's free work. I trim that twice a year, and what I charge for the month, I'm making 20 minutes trimming that. So I'll see you guys in a couple minutes. Thank you.
everybody. Welcome. I got a big mess here. Let the sun dry a little bit. I'm going to start weed whack and get that done. And I'm going to go over it again. You can see in the middle it looks crappy. With the deck up at five inches. I'm going to get a good job. How's everybody doing today? Hope you're all good. Hey Pudgy, first in chat, thank you. What's up Toad, how you doing? That's cool. Food shopping at the moment, oh that's nice. I gotta do that soon, so uh, thank you Pudgy for stopping. Uh, Toad also, hope you guys are having a good day. I'm gonna do some weed whack and I'll chat with you in a couple minutes.
Hey Pudge, I'm rocking out. I got my new headphones on. I'm listening to classic hip hop and throwbacks. I just played the Humpty Dance and a 50 candy shop. So I was just rocking out. Uh, you're gonna wanna take your deck, raise it up, and just cut this real fast again. It'll hide it, it'll make it look a lot better. Don't forget to grab your weed whacker. Sometimes I do that. That ain't cool, you gotta go back. Gotta do a little trim touch up. Got some DMX on now, Pudge. Gotta get the backpack out, clean up a little bit better.
driveway. Gotta keep them happy. Hey guys, what's happening, hot stuff? Take a break for a second, shut these headphones off. They're pretty nice actually, I like them. Let's see if anybody's going on here. Hi, Pika Power. Hey, Mr. Nice Guy, Toad. Hey, Pika. Pudge was in here somewhere too earlier, I thought. He was first. Hey, uh, Smiles, I got a question for you. I got a 60 horsepower, a mercury outboard two-stroke, and the old oil, I should say, where you put the uh, 60 horsepower mercury two-stroke, it's a 94, I would say, and where you put the two-stroke oil in the reserve, it just keeps draining out. It doesn't drain out quickly, but like if after a week, I don't see it on the lawn or nothing, so I'm not sure where it's going. I didn't mess with it at all. Hi, Marge, how are you? I'm sorry? Yes. Yes, thank you. I'm sorry? Yeah, I'll do that uh, next week. We'll get to it because it's the weekend. So we'll be good on that. Okay, thank you. You don't have to answer that question now if you could think about it. It doesn't have to be today because I'm not going to get to it probably for another another week. But that's uh, one thing that's holding me up in regards to uh, going out. I don't want to get stranded. I got stranded one other time. It was pretty funny. Tie everything up, make it look pretty. What's everybody up to? Hope everybody's having a good day. I gotta jump around on the route. I got a call this morning from a customer. So I gotta address that. Uh, first time call, so I'll go do what they want to get done. And then uh, after that, uh, I'll have to set them straight. You gotta learn your customers. Okay. Yes, it is oil injected. Uh, unfortunately, the cheesecake. Uh, my mom makes killer, real Polish cheesecake, because my mom is Polish. My dad's English. Unfortunately, my dad died, though, when I was seven, so... Yeah, it's it's a uh, two-stroke, and it's got that little uh, container on the top that you fill up with, like, two quarts of uh, outboard two-stroke oil. And uh, I think I got everything put away. I don't run nothing over. Like I said, it... Uh, And you're saying just put the two-stroke gas and mix together, just like I do on the lawnmower stuff, and go that route? I could do that. Yeah, I'll do that then. Because I really didn't put too much time into it. I don't know what you guys want to talk about anything, but if you got a second, I'll tell you a funny boat story for Mr. Nice Guy. So I, I chartered a guy... He was actually on the in fisherman up in our area. His name is uh, uh, Captain Frank Campbell, and I went to the Lower Niagara. We do two different gas cans. I'm not sure what you mean, Frank, but I, I think that... Uh, welcome to the chat, too. Uh, I, I know what you're saying. 
Um, I'll just mix it right in the tank. It ain't no big deal. So I, they had a guy in, in Fisherman, the TV show, and that guy was up in Niagara Falls. So we contacted him. He charged $400 for the day. My YouTube account is almost up after... I gotta read that again, I missed it. Oh, let me stop for a second so I can see what you just said. That was a long message there. And I got a comment finally from a bot about my Bitcoin pillow picture one this morning. That was pretty stupid, but pretty funny. I lost all my comments. Oh, you ain't got a wrench now? I see you. I gotta fix that. I gotta figure out how to do that again. I ain't done that in a while. Come on, let me see that. So click on you. Frank told me, click you. How the heck do I do that? No, I don't want that. I gotta figure out how to do that. Yeah, Pika, you definitely don't got a wrench no more. I didn't take it away, so don't get mad at me. How the heck did we do that last time? We pushed the button, but I can't get back to that screen. Come on, jump out of this chat. Let me think about this for a second. Pick, I'll make sure you get a wrench. I'll actually give you two wrenches you deserve. So anyway, smile. I hooked up with that guy. He was super nice. We had to get Canadian fishing licenses because we were in Lewiston which is right below the actual Niagara Falls. There's power intakes over there that you generate the electricity out of. It's about, if you pull a boat, it takes you an hour to get from my house to there because you can't go 100 miles an hour. So me and the wife went, we took uh, the sun, we had a blast. We were catching steelheads. We were actually like right in front of the actual intakes on the power discharge. The water was super crazy. I would never go for it and do it myself that close to the falls. I stop at the uh, Queenston Lewiston Bridge. That's where my cutoff is. That's as far as I'll go because I don't trust myself in that real fast water. So we went fishing a couple of times, me and my wife up there. Because you could do it all winter long because it never freezes. And I got a 17 foot aluminum tracker, a deep V. With that, that's the motor I'm talking about. And uh, so we went a couple of times. So you, you launch at Lewiston and you could just start, you just drop spoons. You know what spoons are. You just take the front hook off it and use a, like a one ounce pencil weight. And you put a swivel on there and you make the pencil weight like six feet long. You just fish off the bottom. And the current's so strong that you just use your uh, trolling motor to point yourself towards shore. And it's probably, you're probably going like 15, 20 miles an hour just drifting. So you drift for about like two or three minutes and you start your engine up and you go back out to where you're, you're working either side. And then if you go all out as fast as you could go, you, uh, my boat only goes 37 miles an hour with one person or five people won't go no faster. It takes you about 15 minutes to actually get to the mouth of Lake Ontario then. And it's, it's pretty interesting. It's like you're fishing in like 110 10 feet in the actual uh, channel that the Niagara Falls is on, the river, the Niagara River. And then as you get close to Lake Ontario, it just goes from like 110 feet to 90 feet to bam, to 15 feet in a matter of a couple seconds. Uh, so I went a couple times fishing, and I never, uh, I was like, wow, the boat's getting real good gas. and Because uh, it still said full, and I haven't put gas in it like three times now. It probably holds about 17 gallons. So the one night we got done cutting grass, we got all our stuff done. Me and the wife have gotten a boat, and I live about 15 minutes from a... Uh... Okay, thank you, Pika. We'll see you soon. Thank you. Be safe. Hope you get it figured out. So we went walleye fishing, uh, Mr. Nice Guy, and uh, I ran out of gas, and it was like about 10 o'clock at night. There wasn't too many people around, and that the and so I started using my trolling motor, and I got two uh, two batteries on there. I got uh, two motors on the trolling motor, the Mankata. So I, I tried getting back to shore. I ended up draining them out warm down so now we're just drifting backwards my wife's freaking out she's got her life jacket on because the current was taking us away from the land <laughs> it was pretty funny so from now on i learned a lesson um some guy gave us a tow back to where we could get the boat but that was a big nightmare because then we had to have another friend go pick up our truck and 
get our kids so he could drive back to pick us up because we're at a different location, but at least we made it so we learned a lesson about fishing. Uh, make sure you physically <laughs> check the gas. <laughs> so, Toad, you got any ideas on... Uh, I gotta fix that turn signal taking up. You th still thinking about kicking around that live stream one of these days? Any thoughts on that? Not rushing you or nothing. Oh, I missed what you said, I gotta see. Top chat, let's see what we got here. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the worst that could happen is we would have just drifted somewhere towards Canada. But that was on Lake Erie. I'm about, I'm actually like five minutes from a, a beach, in Lake Erie Beach, it's called Lake Erie Beach. That's right by my house, that's five minutes away. Uh, but you can't launch your boats there, that's like uh, uh, 20 minutes away is the nearest boat launch. I missed what you said, Toad. And then I uh, I got a, a favorite little, little boat launch too, that's close to the city of Buffalo. do whatever you want. We're just going to have like, it'll be like the campfire. We'll just hang out and shoot the crap like we are now. At least we can make faces at each other instead of me just making faces at you guys right now. It'd be fun. Nah, uh, no Gilligan's Island, but I guess uh, a couple of my friends, uh, Contractors, they got some nice sea rays, like 36 feet, 40 sea rays. They got some cash, these guys, and uh, they take a trip every once in a while to. There's islands right off of Cleveland, Cleveland, Ohio, somewhere, and they go there, and you actually could, uh, you know, park your boat and go walk around and do stuff on like these islands. I never. They invited me to go, but I can't go because I really don't have no free time. I always got stuff going on. It's funny, hey Frank, if you're still there, I had your, uh, when we were streaming last night, it got a little late. I don't know what I was doing. <laughs> I fell asleep on the couch, I wasn't watching the computer. It was about 9.30. Beer can, uh, we got a little one too on the Niagara River, up by the Peace Bridge. It's called Strawberry Island, it's a pretty nice island actually. But uh, Frank, I fell asleep last night. <laughs> And when I got up, I don't know whose stream I was on. <laughs> uh, so I didn't tell you guys I got um at the uh, at the next house already. So I got this customer here. She's a good snowplowing customer across the street from the one I'm at now. And uh, she uh, called to tell me that that the lawn was getting a little high, which it's a little high, but it's not out of control. And uh. So I'll answer the call until I'll be there today, which I am here today, and I'll, I'll do it. But uh, I'll have to let her know next time that uh, I don't make no special special trips for anybody. Uh, so I'm having a good day. Hope you guys are having a good day. Um, you guys jump on Clay's. I'll catch you over there. I might not be done in time. So if you guys sign off, uh, thank you so much. Uh, Pudgy was here. Toad, Pika, Frank, and Mr. Smiles. Mr. Nice Guy, I should say. So I got to get this one done. Won't be too bad. And the other one across the street. So guys, uh, thank you. I do appreciate it. If I come back and you're gone, that's cool. I'll catch you in a little bit. But thank you for stopping. It's worth a million to me. Thank you. Ah, you know what else, too? I forgot to wish Pika Power happy birthday.
Okay, this one here's got a hill. If you take a 21 inch mower with you, it'll be a lot easier. Well, I just weed whacked this one, but this they pay good over here, so I'll take it like, like that house back there. I would pass on that because that's pretty steep. Unless they paid real good. But uh, I'm gonna fly across the street. Like I said, I'm just gonna I weed whack this. It don't look pretty, but hopefully the homeowner doesn't walk back there and look down there the down the brown grass. So We'll cut that one across the street and I'll recut the front of this house so it looks pretty. Hide the grass, don't look too bad right now. I can't fit through the gate. The lady hasn't yelled at me yet, but I'm running over a pack of sandwiches. Ain't nothing but garbage anyway, a pack of sandwiches. So she complains, uh, she'll have to get new guys, because I ain't got time to cut little bit.
practice right here. I'm going to let it dry for a couple minutes while I'm weed whacking, and I'll run it over one more time with the deck up. It'll hide a lot more of the grass. So it should be looking perfect. Let's see if I can read this. Take a break for a second. Reading some of these guys. If you're still here, I'll catch you on clay. I'm not sure who's here, but that's cool. Uh, Toad, bye. Uh, I have to figure this out. Okay, Red that Pika, you figure it out. Give us an answer. We want to know what's going on. We need details. Laugh out loud. That would feel very uneasy about that situation. I'm not sure what situation. I clearly missed something there, but that's cool. So I'm just hanging out in my car reading this. No singing yet. No singing if you do whatever you want. There's a sign they got. We don't have to take our clothes off to have a good time. Oh, no. We could dance and party all night and drink some cherry wine. Uh-huh. That was a pretty cheesy song from the 80s. Mr. Nice Guy, you know it because you're about as old as me. I can tell by looking at the pictures. Okay, it says you would... Gilligan's Island, yep, yep, I like Gilligan's Island. Just sit right back and we'll tear a tale. A tale of a faithful trip that started from this tropic port aboard this tiny ship. That's cool, we have one called Beer Can Paul. You would moon doing commercial stuff because you have the personality for it. Maybe jump your mowers over a fire pit. Oh, that'd be good, like Evil Knievel, I would love it. Yep. we probably get about six viewers though, unfortunately it would cost me money. Chimmer broke. Yeah, I could run it over. Toad, thank you for all the hearts. And uh, those are lawnmowers, too. Oh, wow, that's cool. Yes, thank you, Toad. So that's cool. Anybody still here? I don't know what time it is. Let's see what time it is. 11.57. That's cool. That's cool. Uh, thank you, uh, uh, Pudge. You were first. Thank you, Pudge, uh, for being first in chat. Uh, Toad, Smile, Peak of Power, hope you get everything figured out. Uh, Frank, Frank, I'll see you later. Thank you for stopping. Uh, anybody who's hanging out, it's showing me too still. Uh, thank you for stopping. Uh, don't be afraid to chat if you want to. We don't bite. We're all friends here. So, I'm going to grab a quick little bite and uh, of potato chips that I got and have a pop and let the sun do its work. So, guys, thanks a million. I'll see you a little later. Thank you. I'll see you.